Howdy y'all, I'm Dnor25, and I am finally getting every character unlocked here on World War II Zombies over five years later. The last one is on the Frozen Dawn for the Shadow Guard character. The final challenge I must complete to have everything unlocked just requires me to complete the Frozen Dawn solo, which I have surprisingly never done on console. Big thanks to my awesome friends, Athena and Patriot, for helping me complete a lot of these challenges. Alright, now let's get the game going. Alright, so we gotta pick up this here wire somewhere over here to start, and then grab this here battery. And that opens the door on up. Kill that boy because he thinks he's slick. We got one, two. Alright, we got four zombies there. Okay, looks like it only needed five. Alright. Grab this here second stone. We're gonna run back over here and pick up this other stone that we need for the hammer upgrade. And now we're running back and starting the scythe ritual. But we'll also go ahead and grab this other bloodstone. Drop this on off right here. This is a good opportunity to get some of my armor, just to be safe here, but I think I'm alright. There we go. Fill this battery on up as much as we can. Now that we have that battery all filled up, we need to go grab that last stone so that we can do the hammer upgrade. And we'll take this time to go ahead and check the gear spawns for the flail and the book spawn. So there's one of our books. Check this other gear spawn that's over here somewhere. Yeah, right there, okay. One can also spawn here and then one of the two books you need is always spawning right there. So that's good to remember. Let's check our code. We have R, F, Z, M. Z, and M. And now you can just lay right underneath where it's going to spawn. So what you're going to want to do here is shoot these until the top one is showing forward and then shoot the one under that to make the second one show forward and then shoot the bottom one. Oh, I missed it, but then you want to shoot the bottom one until the third one is forward and then you can check what direction the bottom one is facing so in this case it's facing backwards which means you shoot the top one twice and the third one twice there we go and then you do the same thing with this one make them all face inwards and then in this case, it's facing right, which means you shoot the top one once, the bottom one twice, and then the third one three times. And if it's facing left, you just do the opposite. Uh, if it's facing the left side, you shoot the top one three times, the second one twice, and then the third one you shoot once.
Go ahead and buy stamina up. We'll need it to make the hammer a little easier. We are going to carry the electricity for it. Over here. To this room. And then you just take it on down to this room. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pick the scythe back up, and then we're going to teleport in order to get one of the corpse eaters to spawn in. That way, we can get the spine and place the scythe down on the altar and start charging that up. Oh wow, hey, we, we got one naturally to spawn in, uh, <laughs> right as we were heading over there. This map's easter egg is pretty good. I like that it's rather simple with it just requiring you to upgrade all four melee weapons and it has a really awesome boss fight if you don't cheese it super hard. <laughs> Alright, we got four charged into that and now we need to go buy the melee perk so we can keep killing stuff effectively. I feel the <laughs> Yeah, so up until just a week ago or so, I needed three challenges done, those being the Cheat Death Challenge, this Solo Challenge, and the Round 30 on the Shadow Throne with no damage taken. And I got those other two challenges done thanks to the help of my lovely friends, Patriot, and my friend Athena. They both helped me with those. So I figured why not complete the final challenge and just get it all done. Now that we got that scythe charged up, we can just wait until round 10 or 11 maybe, and then pick it back up and then teleport for the upgrade. We need this bomber for the radio and speaker, so let's get that done. Pick the speaker up and the radio. Pick this hammer back up and fill this last blood pool. Okay, all the way. And we're gonna see if we can't try to do this little trick to kill him for the hammer. I'm guessing not, because I really haven't done this before, so I probably won't get it on my uh, first go, but we'll see. Oh, and he is here. Sweet. Nice. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, it didn't count? Uh, did activating frontline after whacking the wall get rid of the charge on it? That's very bizarre. I speak for some cat. First, the blood raven. Alright, so now with the shield, we have to go around and see what pool is lit up with this red essence and it's this one so we need to kill one of the corpse eaters that is fully charged right next to it so that it explodes on the pool and makes it form a pattern we're going to need the machine pistol for this step because you need a pistol to shoot these ravens with pick up the raven statue and now we can start looking for the ravens found our first one, so you shoot it with a pistol, and it'll cause a fully charged corpse eater to spawn. And now we take it to this pool over here. And now it'll form a pattern. We're gonna call it Big Cross. Alright, now this pool's the next one it looks like for us. So now we have to find our second raven. All right, we have found our second raven. It was over here by the mystery box. So we'll go ahead and spawn the second fully charged corpse eater in. And see what pattern this one forms. All right, so we're just gonna call that little flower.
while we're running around looking for this raven, I might as well go ahead and place these two books that I have and check the gear spawn in here. The gear is in here, so now I just need to find one more gear for the flail. All right, we have found our third raven. It was here in the spawn room. And we have what kind of looks like a fidget spinner, honestly. Also, while we're at it, we can go ahead and shoot our last raven. Because I heard it right there, yep. And doing that will unlock the raven pistol for us. The raven's claw. Alright, we'll go ahead and kill on our first pattern. Then get to our second pattern, which was the little flower. Get this kill. In the blood pool. And we're teleported into the shield ritual. This one's definitely one of the cooler ones to me. This one and the flail are uh, pretty cool ones. Go ahead and hit for Jack in the boxes here. There we have him. Alright, so we still need our final gear. So we'll look in here for that. Perfect. So we got that. We open up the door, place the gears, and now we just gotta charge up the planetarium. Or whatever this is called. I don't know. There we go. We have it charged up. And now we have to stop the planets in the correct locations. According to this map. We're going to do the scythe first. Since that's finished. And then we'll come back and see if we can't use some jack-in-the-boxes to complete this hammer. Teleport. <laughs> with the scythe picked up and we'll get teleported into the ritual and get this completed on up place this all right throw a jack-in-the-box up there There we go. Perfect. Now we just gotta put in all the wall codes. We'll go ahead and stop the planets and then thin out the zombies a little bit just so that we don't get bothered quite as much when putting in the wall codes because that can be kind of annoying. Alright, we'll look at the picture. See, we got green left, red right, yellow right above that, and then the purple right below that on the right side. Let's see if we can't stop this red one real quick. Most annoying one to get. There we go. Green, I think it needs to be stopped there. Perfect. We'll stop the purple one right here. And then stop the yellow one. Right there. There we go, we unlocked the flail. There we go, and we're looking for this little pattern. Check up here. Oh, it is up here. So, for this one, you can just go like this. And that one's finished. Go ahead and shoot this, that one, that one, and that one for the second puzzle. And then for the final puzzle, you shoot here, here, here. And then you shoot these four over here. Awesome. So 
what's your guys' favorite melee weapon to get on this map? The one everyone uses for the high rounds is the hammer, but not everyone does high rounds, so let me know if you have a different favorite one, or one that you think is the best for earlier in the game. Perfect, there we go. So let me know what character challenges you guys are struggling with down in the comments below. I know a lot of people struggle with the Slayer of Casablanca challenges on the Darkest Shore. But what do you think is the hardest challenge in this game, as far as character challenges go? Oh, there's the pattern for us. There we go, there is our final star message. Now you just throw the f the ball at the planet there and teleport on into the ritual. Now you're just gonna throw the ball at the ground and wait for the flames to pass. There we go. And we're done. Alright, we have all the melee weapons placed. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and seeing me get my last character challenge finally in the year 2024. It's definitely funny that it took so long for me to go for it. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to finish off the God King, which is pretty easy. Awesome, and there is our final character challenge. Finally unlocked after six years of this game being out. <laughs> awesome. So here you can see the final character that we've managed to unlock, being this guy. He looks pretty cool. I really like the outfit. And you can see over here in your weapon kits, you have the ability to put the Jack in the Box weapon charm on your weapons now after unlocking every character in the game. And that's honestly pretty cool. I've just been using the Sanguine Skull up till then, but this one is super awesome as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm so excited to have every character challenge unlocked finally after six years of playing this game. And let me know what your guys' favorite character challenges were to go for. And once again, let me know what you struggled with to get the most. Or what you're still struggling with. Have a lovely day. Hope to see you next time.